Hey guys, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations, and today I changed it up just a little bit. Usually I work with regular two-part epoxy, but today I wanted to use a UV resin and show you how you can make these beautiful glitter pens using UV resin, and I also used a clear cast wrap on this pen, and I literally finished this pen in an hour. So this is the UV resin that I used, and I got it on Amazon. I will link it down in the description box below. I have a pen on a dowel rod, a UV light, and then some glitter. So I, with the pen, I went ahead and got it ready, prepped it, and spray painted it with a flat white Rust-Oleum spray paint. Here I'm just unboxing this UV resin. There's two things of UV resin in this box that I got, so I've got plenty of UV resin to last me a really long time. And uh, here I had a little bit of a hard time trying to get this cap off. I didn't want to get the UV resin all over my fingers just because it's, it does have a pretty strong smell to it. And I just, I didn't want it on my fingers. I didn't want my fingers to be sticky. So I ended up using, <laughs> improvising just a little bit and using a couple tools to get it off. All right, so I've got the little cap that I'm putting back on here. It just helps you squeeze it out really easily. And I'm going to get a finger cut. I love these finger cuts when I make pens because you don't have to waste a whole glove on one pen. And I bought those on Amazon as well, which will be linked down in the description box too. Everything that I'm using, I for the most part, bought on Amazon. So I will, uh, I'll link everything down in the description box. And I am just going to put a thin layer of the UV resin on the pen and I will use my finger and just spread it out across the pen. You want always wanna make sure that you start at the center of the pen and work your way out. You don't ever want to push epoxy, or, or sorry, resin in this case, inside of the pen because it is going to make it a pain to try to get the pen back together and functioning properly if you get the resin inside of it. So always make sure when you're working around the edges of it, the tip of the pen, be very careful. Start in the middle with your finger and push outwards as you smooth it. Now the UV resin is not self-leveling like normal epoxy is, so you want to make sure you get it pretty smooth with your finger. And here I've got a UV flashlight and I'm just going to make some passes across the pin and I'm going to spin the pin in my fingers as I do, spin the dowel rod as I shine the UV light across it back and forth. And that's just going to harden that resin and it actually works pretty quickly. One thing that I have noticed though is that the UV resin will stay sticky, very tacky for a while um, until you you know, make numerous passes and numerous cycles underneath the UV light. And once you get enough UV light on it, it does eventually harden up really well. Um, but I am going to take advantage of this tackiness that the UV resin leaves on here and I'm actually going to glitter this pen with the basically using the tackiness of the UV resin. So I will use this glitter that you see sitting right there here in just a moment whenever I feel like the pen is at a right enough consistency. And basically all you need is for the pen to be a little bit sticky. So you can you can hit it with the UV light just enough to where it's just a little bit sticky and you can tell, you know, by just kind of gently tapping your finger on there. All right, so I have got it to where it is like just sticky enough for glitter. So I'm going to take my glitter here and it is, I didn't show it initially, I'll show it here in just a little bit. It is actually called Opalina by BJ's Glitter. And as you can see, I have my Thanksgiving paper plate here. It is the only plate that I use for white glitter. I only use white glitter in that plate because I don't want to cross contaminate my glitter. So once I have sprinkled this BJ's Glitter Opalina on here, I'm going to just kind of burnish it down with my finger and make it lay flat and it actually gives it that tack it look it looking method so it makes it super pretty and super flat and it literally ends up requiring no sanding at all because you're just burnishing it down so you're, you're not going to have any little pieces of glitter sticking up anywhere. All right, now that I've got it nice and smooth, you know, you just kind of wipe off any little excess glitter that's trying to hang on there, and it's gonna be ready for another coat of UV resin. All 
and look how beautiful that is. Like I said, this glitter here is called Opalina. It is by BJ's Glitter and it is my favorite glitter ever. I love this glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of the UV resin on. As you can see, I have a nail lamp here. I broke out the nail lamp because I wanted to give another example of how you can cure the UV resin. So you can either use a nail lamp or you can use the flashlight, the UV flashlight, or you can even take it out in the sun. One thing that I like to do with my UV pens is once I, you know, let it go through multiple cycles underneath the UV light, whether it be the flashlight or the nail lamp, uh, I like to take them outside and let them sit outside for a little while because the UV from the sun really helps harden up that UV resin as well. So now that I have the UV resin on, I'm just going to make a really quick pass with the UV flashlight because I have better control over where I'm putting that pen whenever I'm doing it with the UV flashlight. And once I get that first initial pass with the UV flashlight on, I know that the UV resin isn't going to go anywhere or try to drip off or anything. Then I move it over into my nail lamp. And see, I'm, I'm touching it just to make sure that it is sticky enough and I'm going to move it over into my na nail lamp here. and. I'm gonna let it just hang out in there for a little while. My nail lamp runs in 60 second cycles. So it'll run for 60 seconds and then it shuts off automatically. And then I turn it back on, it kicks on for another 60 seconds. So once it gets to the point where it is dry enough for me to set it down, I, you'll actually see me set it down inside the nail lamp. And I have sped this up. I know this part's just a little bit boring, but I didn't wanna completely cut it out, but I did cut out a lot of this part. So I probably ran it through about 10, 10-ish 10 approximately cycles with the nail lamp um, before I felt like it was fully dry. So whenever you are applying the glitter, you don't have to run it through that many cycles, but before you apply you know, vinyl or a clear cast or a water slide or anything like that, you wanna make sure that it's pretty dry. And when I was recording this video, it was actually storming outside, so I wasn't able to take it outside and let it sit outside. And it was at this point in recording that I realized that I forgot to show y'all what kind of glitter it was, so there you have it, Opalina with BJ's Glitter. All right, so at this point, our UV resin is drying very nicely, and I'm going to let it sit in here, and I'm going to get these clear cast pen wraps that I got from Broken Leg Vinyl. I've got a whole pack of them to choose from, so I wasn't really sure exactly which one I wanted to use, but here is the instructions. They come with instructions. It tells you exactly how to apply them and use them on your pens. And because I actually laid the vinyl or the glitter down and kind of burnished it on, the pen was just a tiny bit thinner than it would have been if I had applied glitter the normal way via like the epoxy method or anything like that. And like I said, this is clear cast vinyl. So the cool thing about this is it's actually printed onto clear vinyl. So it's very similar to a clear water slide but it's not because you don't put it in the water. You just put it on like you would vinyl and you wrap it around the pen. You'll see how I put it on in just a little bit, but I, I had such a hard time deciding which one I wanted to put on this pen here because they're all so pretty. Uh, but I will put a link to Broken Leg Vinyl down in the description box below. They have some really cool stuff and other vinyls as well. Okay, so I did not actually measure out this wrap here. I just figured, let's eyeball it. It looks like it's gonna be pretty close. I may have a little bit of overlap, but who cares? I mean, it's, it's clear cast, so it's gonna wrap over itself. It's not gonna be that big of a difference, but if you do need to trim it down, you can. All you, just, all you do is just take some scissors and put it in, cut it and trim it down. So I'm going to lay it on here I pulled the backing back off the vinyl. It's just like normal vinyl, but it's clear and it's printed on, so it's awesome. It makes this super easy. It's so much better than having to 
print out water slides and spray seal them and all that stuff. And like I said, they've got some super cute designs. So I will definitely have them linked down in the description box below. But you just smooth it out as you go around the pen and make sure that it lays down nicely. I did have a tiny bit of an overlap because I applied it, applied the glitter flat so my pen was a little bit thinner, but it was no big. So I have got my finger caught again and I am going to apply the UV resin again. Now, prior to the, applying the UV resin, I did make sure that the vinyl was laid down really good. I just, I took my fingers and ran it up and down the pen really well. And I let it sit on there for a little while too because I wanted to make sure that that adhesive from the, or on the vinyl really had some time to adhere to the pen really well. And you can also even put it in front of just a little bit of heat and it helps kind of activate that adhesive on the vinyl and helps it hang on even better but I didn't have any problems with any kind of lifting or anything like that so it's it's just something you can do but like I said it was it was plenty sticky I didn't have any problems at all so I have applied the UV resin just like you've seen me do I think two times now and I'm just starting at the center of the pen and working my way out as I smooth the resin out all right now that I have it smoothed out I am going to go ahead and hit it Again, pretty quickly with the UV light, just going back and forth, spinning the pin as I do, just to make that UV resin harden just enough so that I can stick it down there in my nail lamp. So I'm going to go ahead and let the pin hang out here underneath the UV nail lamp for a little while. And while it's doing that, I want to mention, you know, my voice may sound just a little bit different right now than normal. I'm a little nasally and everything. Um, I cut the grass last night or yesterday evening when I got home from work and um, I'm in Florida. So we have a lot of pollen and stuff that will make your allergies go absolutely nuts. And that is what is going on. My allergies are going absolutely crazy right now and they are kicking my butt. So I'm sorry if I sound a little bit different than normal. I just wanted to um, <laughs> let y'all know that. While the pen continues to cook, I just want to drop a huge thank you to all of my Patreon members for their awesome support and thank you for being part of such a wonderful community that we are building together. Um, if you haven't seen my Patreon, check it out. We do a lot of giveaways in there. I give away glitter and stuff like, you know, supplies, things that you see that I make here in the videos and everything and I have a really really cool announcement coming up here soon that I am going to tell my Patreon members before I tell anybody else they're going to know really far in advance also a lot of super good coupon codes in there as well to check out that is exclusive only to my Patreon members so it looks like the pin is finally done and it has hardened nicely I probably ran it through about eight or so cycles underneath the nail lamp and I'm just going to clean it up I didn't get any UV resin inside I just have a little bit of spray paint in there so I wanted to clean it out because it just helps that clicker move a little bit better so I took my craft knife and just spun it around in there and now I'm gonna put all my guts back inside so that the pin will go back to working properly as you can see it clicks as it should and we're good to go and there you have it. Look how beautiful that pin is with that clear cast wrap from Broken Leg Vinyl on it. I just, I love it. This is one of my new favorite pins, but I'm actually going to give it away in my Patreon group here coming up soon, probably Wednesday night when I make a big announcement to my group. So it is gorgeous. And if you haven't, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you can see more videos. And once again, a huge thank you to all of my amazing Patreon members. You have no idea what your support means to me. Y'all are awesome. Well, that is it for today. I hope everyone has a great day and y'all take care. Bye.